Hey folks, Renee Tuttle here, and I'm the Agriculture and Natural Resources Extension Agent for the West Plains Extension District. April 15th is almost here, and we all know what that means. Everybody's itching to plant their corn. But the real question is, is the soil ready? We're here at the William Carpenter Farm, and the soil temperature here is reading about 61 degrees. Uh, in Finney and Wichita and Lane counties, the temperatures are averaging between 50 and 60 degrees. So what does that mean for you as you're getting ready to plant your corn? As you get ready to plant your corn, it's important to monitor the change in soil temperature. And we know that that is affected by three different things, residue cover, soil moisture, and landscape position. We also know that wet soils under a no tillage system will be slower to warm, and dry soils will fluctuate more rapidly, and they generally match the air temperature, particularly if the skies are clear that day. When we are planting corn, we need a minimum temperature of 50 degrees Fahrenheit. What we really like to see is a seven day average above 55 degrees. This will help with uniformity and synchrony of emergence. And in the long run, the soil temperature at the time of planting can have a big impact on potential corn yields. Another factor to consider aside from soil temperatures is the last spring freeze. According to this map from the K-State Department of Agronomy, in Finney and Scott County, the average day of the last spring freeze last year was between April 22nd and May 3rd. To monitor local soil and air temperatures, you can visit the Kansas Mesonet at mesonet.ksu.edu. While those soil temperatures aren't quite warm enough yet, go ahead and get those planters out and get your seed ready because planting season will be here before we know it. For more local agriculture information, be sure to follow the West Plains Extension District on our YouTube page for more topics from the turn row.